So in this video today, we're going to look at potting balls to the middle, and I'm going to try and explain why these shots are a little bit trickier than normal shots on the table. So you can see that I'm faced with this red to the middle now as my opening red, and I need to try and pot this red and get position on the black ball to hopefully start my break. So why is this shot to the middle then a little bit more difficult than normal shots around the table when we're just potting balls to the corner pockets? So I would say the first thing that makes these pots a little bit more difficult than other pots around the table is just that we're normally potting into a blind pocket. And by that, what we mean is that the pocket that you're aiming for isn't really in your field of vision as you're down on the shot. So this pocket will be in my peripheral vision. I'll be able to see it just to the left of me as I'm down on the shot, lining up for the shot. But it's not just directly in my normal line of sight. So if I was potting a normal black off the spot, so if we looked at a shot like this one, where I'm just potting the black, I can see the black, the white, and the pocket all in my eye line comfortably, and it feels like a nice, comfortable shot for me to judge. But now when I'm potting this ball to the middle, it's a little bit more difficult for me to have the pocket here, the middle pocket, in my line of sight when I'm down on the shot. So that's what we call potting into a bit of a blind pocket. You haven't got the cue ball, the object ball, and the pocket all in a nice direct line. So you will see this pocket in your peripheral vision, but it's a little bit more difficult to line everything up. Now the second thing that's going to make potting these balls to the middle more difficult is just the pace that we need to play these shots at. So if we were to look at the black off the spot again, a normal shot that we're playing when we're potting into the corner pocket, on these shots we can easily hit the jaw of the pocket and we can hit it at a reasonable pace and the ball will still bounce off the jaw and go into the pocket. So you've got a little bit of margin for error there in terms of where your aiming is and the ball still being accepted and going into the pocket. But when we're playing shots into the middle pockets here, we've got far less margin for error. So if we were to hit the far jaw of the middle pocket when we're playing a red at this kind of an angle, if we hit that far jaw, the ball is not going to go in. It's going to bounce off that jaw and come away from the pocket. Exactly the same if we catch the near jaw. If we were to hit this red and hit it reasonably firm and we caught this near jaw, it would hit the near jaw and just bounce away from the pocket. So that's why when we're playing these shots to the middle, we're held to far higher standards in terms of our aiming on the shot. So we can't afford to catch the near jaw or catch the far jaw at all, or the ball's going to bounce off the cushions and it won't go into the pocket. So with those things in mind then, let's look at increasing our success rate when we're potting these balls to the middle. So we know that we need to take some of the pace off so that we give the pocket every chance. And one of the big reasons why slowing down the pace on this shot really, really helps is that if we can get the, the object ball close to that middle pocket, we can actually use the fall of the slate to help the ball go into the pocket. So if we were to look at the middle pocket here, you can see where the fall of the slate starts to happen, the cutout on the slate there as it drops into the pocket, and you can see it's rounded off very slightly there. So we want to get that, the object ball right by that fall on the slate there, and if the ball is travelling very slowly and it goes onto that fall of the slate there, it should run into the pocket nicely. So the slower we can play it, the more chance we've got of the ball going into the pocket. Obviously, if we hit it really, really firmly and the ball hits that fall of the slate, but it's travelling very fast, it won't have time for gravity to take over and for gravity to pull the ball down and into the pocket. So that's why taking off a bit of the pace is really effective on these shots. So if I was to attempt this shot first then, let's see what happens to the object ball if I play this shot with a little bit too much pace and too much power. So you can see there that I only just caught the far jaw on the pocket, but of course at that speed I didn't give the pocket any chance for the ball to hit that little lip on the slate there and fall into the pocket, and it just bounced straight off the far jaw and came away from the pocket. Right, so we know that we need to back off the power a little bit, hit the shot a little bit softer and just give the pocket every chance of accepting the ball. And then that brings us on to our second tip, which is that we're going to pick the line of the shot from the standing up position. So you see a lot of people on these shots that they get down to the shot and then you can see them moving about on the shot and trying to figure out and trying to pick exactly where they need to hit the object ball to get it into the pocket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be a bit more disciplined than that and we're going to say that we need to really make sure before we get down to this shot that we're standing up behind the line and we're picking out our angle in the standing up position. And it's just much more effective on these shots to kind of visualise the angle and pick out where we need to hit the object ball from that upright position. And then when we get down, we're going to trust that we've picked the right line 
and we're just going to keep our cue on that line and just deliver the cue straight and see where the object ball goes. Now, if you can really commit to doing this, this is where it's really going to help you learning your angles and progress your game further. So, if you are getting down to the shot and then you're messing about and trying to tweak exactly where you're hitting the object ball once you're down on the table, then there's all kinds of problems that come with that, that you, you're not sure what angle you picked when you were standing up, you're possibly putting your body in a bit of an awkward position and you're going to deliver the cue from one side to the other. So it just makes learning these angles and recognising them again in the future much more difficult. So if we can pick the line standing up, commit to our straight cue and once we're down, we can then start learning whether we hit the shot either thick or thin and adjust our aiming in the future and then things should hopefully be a lot quicker in terms of your learning. So I'm going to get behind this shot then. I'm going to try and work out where I need to hit that object ball, try and work out my angle from the standing position and then I'm going to get down to the shot Play the shot with a nice pace so that I give the pocket every chance of accepting the ball and just commit to my nice straight cueing. So if I stand up behind the line of this shot, I'm happy that that's where I think I need to hit that object ball. I get down to the shot with a couple of feathers, nice and smooth. And you can see that time that I played it at a nice comfortable pace I didn't hit it too hard, I gave the pocket every chance of accepting the ball. And by standing up before I got down to the shot and picking out my line in that standing position, it's a much more effective way of starting to learn your potting angles. So hopefully you've got a better understanding now of why these shots to the middle can be a little bit trickier than other shots on the table. So we need to be a little bit more accurate in terms of our potting, so we can't afford to catch the near jaw or the far jaw or the ball won't go in. And we found that one of the ways of combating this was that if we play the shot a little bit slower, we give the pocket every chance of accepting the object ball. The other thing that we talked about was the fact that often when we're playing these shots, we're playing into a blind pocket. So it's really important on these shots that you do your pre-shot routine and you pick out the angle of these shots from the standing position. And then when you get down to the shot, you just commit to your straight cueing. And that way, if you hit the shot thick or thin, you know you've committed to your straight cueing and then you can quickly adjust and quickly start to learn your potting angles. So hopefully some of the things in this video have given you some tips and some things to think about that are going to make you have better success when you've got these shots to the middle. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like and if you want to see more instructional tutorials just like this one, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.